TPRR just released a massive update that includes the long-awaited FNAF movie map, a new in-game achievement to get Sparky from the FNAF movie, which I did a video on earlier today. So if you missed that and you want to get this achievement, go check out that video real quick. A new lava volcano skin for the pizzeria builder, the whole nightmare rework, and of course, a ton of brand new characters. To get to the brand new FNAF movie map, you want to go to this little billboard in between FNAF 1 and 2. It is a little unfortunate. Every other game has a big section for their map, and then the movie just gets kind of a little bulletin board. But I mean, look, it's got everything. It's got the art, it's got the yellow rabbit, balloon boy, Nebraska, Chica. Before we get into anything else, I do want to check out this map and see all the different little features and details it has going on. Uh, we can't go outside, it would appear. Oh, we got a little sneak peek of outside. Uh, I do believe we can activate these lights right here, though. Oh, look at that. Look at those lights go. Those lights are going. Then, of course, here is the main lobby right here. I really like these details on the, the glass here with the animatronics. Designed after the ones from the little animation before Security Breach. Very nice touch. Can we show time? Oh, we can show time. You even get an achievement for it. You get a ton of tokens. So I do recommend doing that if you haven't already. There is a gift bear hidden behind here if you couldn't hear him already. For some reason, I already claimed this and it won't let me get him to go away. There's also a little spring body plush in the ball pit. Let's go in the kitchen and see what we got going on here. Oh my god, I spilled the milk. I'm so sorry. Oh, look at this. You could just get soda from the fountain. Oh, that's crazy. Why does it taste like fish? I don't know what I just drank. I don't know what kind of mixture I just made. It tasted like fish, though, for what it's worth. And, of course, we do have the office. What is that? Cameras are disabled due to ongoing renovations being made to the establishment. Oh, man. You can't even see the animatronics coming. It's just over for you. You can climb in the vents and turn off the power as well. Why is Johnny Bravo employee of the month? What did Chopper do? How is he employee of the month? This map is insanely detailed. We got stuff everywhere. There's the janitor closet. We have stowaway substance. I'm going to dispense whatever that is. I'm going to release that gas in the air. It should be fine, right? If you go into this back room over here where the sparky head is, you can go into the character vendor shop as well. If you didn't buy him in the main menu, I mean. And you can even dispense some soap if you want. My favorite section of the map is right here. We could sit in here, we could toggle this crane to come down, and we could slowly watch as the torture mask lowers onto our face. This is terrifying. Imagine this in VR. Oh my god. Is this gonna kill me? Surely not. Ah, ah, ah. It's not looking too good, boys. Good band. So, the nightmares were updated, but I think I'm gonna save those for a separate video. I just wanna focus on the new ones that were just released. You can see a lot of different characters were updated as well. Like these, and Stitch Wraith, and Frybot. A lot of animatronics got updates in this recent release. But I am going to be focusing on the brand new ones that you could buy at Old Man Consequences now. Starting with Shreddy Fazchair. Shreddy is a great name, actually. Hope you got some good Freddy Faz healthcare for this medieval torture device. Is that its canon name? If so, Shreddy Fazchair is an insane name. What happened? Look at this thing. Oh, he's got the torture thing up there. He's got the chair built into him. That's pretty intense. I'm this thing, but mobile. I'm the chair and the stand all in one. He looks so tired. Let this poor Freddy die, please. For sounds, we have a walk. We have Soul Gears idle. Gears active. We have a laugh. Bleeding. And a scream. For animations. Oh my god, we have a lot. We have a shred deactivate stand. We have a deactivate sit. We have shreddy gear spin, which spins all them in the back of its head. Gear crush. Oh my god. Head holster. Oh, you could. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We do have a window pose as well. He's going a little crazy, shaking uncontrollably. For abilities, we have an attack. We have. We can select the adult. Oh my god. I was Shreddy Fast Chair the whole time. We could become the Night Guard. And of course, we could go into the Shreddy Fast Chair. Oh, I skipped Shreddy Mask. My bad. 
Oh, look, we're this thing. Oh my God. I'm in the chair as this. Who's shredding who now? But as this thing, we have an attack again. Do the animation change? Oh, you can do all the animations in here now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very nice. You still get the same sounds as in the other form. We can toggle the eye color as well from purple to red. We could go back into shreddy fast chair. We could toggle the bow tie and the buttons on its chest. We could toggle the eyes and the hat as well. He feels naked without the hat. I don't know. We could toggle the eye color here too. We could spring lock him even. So we could change into everything like we've been doing. What is Boulder Reindeer? What is this thing? He's getting bolder and bolder by the holiday. Male pattern baldness is his equivalent to socks for Christmas. What? Oh, he just wants to spread gifts and Christmas cheer. Why do you say so? Oh my God. He has a whole sleigh behind him. You can pull a whole sleigh of people. He's just Rudolph. He's just Rudolph after a couple of energy drinks. That's all. Also, this gift bear thing going off is going to make me lose my marbles. It won't turn off. For animations, we do have a bolder look up, look left and right. And then for sounds, a walk, a whisper, breathing, winter air. Oh, nice little song and a scream. What does the performance do? His arms are ripped off. We have an attack. We have a toggle sled. Ah, uh, okay. You can just turn the whole sled off if you want. We can change the eyes. It could be pure white. They could be green, red, purple, or normal. We have rideable, which lets players ride in your big sleigh. We have a sprint. We can give a gift. Oh, it's worth five fast tokens. We have a player scan. And we have a burrow as well. Oh, he's just a sleigh. There's nothing weird about this sleigh. It's completely normal. It's actually a bloodthirsty demon. We have a toggle selection for the face. Oh my God, put that back on. Put your face back on. Actually, I don't know if that's any better. And we could toggle the ornaments on its horns or antler, sorry, as well. And then last but not least is the big bag. I mean, you could kind of just... You could take his sleigh, you could take his bag, you can take his face, you could take his ornaments. What does he have? Who is he now? You can't tell me this isn't an enemy from Elden Ring or Dark Souls. What in the world did they do to Sun? What is that? Its mouth opens? For animations, we have a Dawn Duke look up. We have a Duke jaw open. That's terrifying. And then for sounds, we have a lot. Oh, it looks like they're, or it sounds like they're just the sun and moon lines. We can give a gift. We can punch. Oh my God. We can toggle the sword in sheath. But I mean, why would you? You gotta have his sword. And you can wire fly as well. But I mean, you don't really have the room to do it in this pizzeria, sadly. We can transform into the moon variant. Look at him. These designs are so weird, but they're so cool at the same time. Looks like it does have the same abilities. It can slap. It doesn't have a sword, so it has to resort to slapping. We can give a gift. We could wire fly, then turn back into sun. Or the dawn of Duke, sorry. Looks like he has all of Moon's voice lines as well. And then the same animations except for the Moon variant. And he can spin his head. So that's kind of cool. They're not even animatronics anymore. What is this? This giant bug hell demon bird. I don't know what's going on anymore. They're getting more and more Elden Ring-esque the further we get in. We have a hard mode. Oh my God. This is too scary now. This is far too scary. We have a phase. You can still see all the lighting effects, which looks really cool. We have Hoggle Agony Heart which gets rid of the little thing in his hand. We can toggle the particles. We have the bone wing ceiling crawl. This is the last thing you need to see is this thing on the ceiling. I also can't move. Maybe the ceiling crawl doesn't work too well in this map. Oh, no, there we go. We're a moving, kind of. And then we can transform into the true form. Just a puddle on the floor. What is that? Toggle the particle here. We can evaporate and then we can return. Why is the true form a puddle of red? For animations, we have a look up, lean left and right. And we have a wraith point. Please don't point at me with your bony fingers. For sound, we have a crow call, death bell, ambient agony, and we have a voice line. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm gonna hear that in my sleep now, aren't I? And then last but not least is a scream. 
I'm not caught up with all the books, so I don't fully know who this is. It's it's Tiger Guy. It's Tiger Guy from the books. Look at him. He's got a little candy stick in his mouth. We have a special selection. Oh, we're Tiger Rock, but we have a broken arm. Oh, whoa, whoa, what is this? Why could we turn in all of these? Is this a spoiler for the books? If this is a spoiler, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know any better. We could become the Ruin Mimic as well. I don't know if the Ruin Mimic or any of these mascot suits were updated or not, but I mean, we might as well just become them all real quick. Just for good measure. You never know. The elephant is so creepy. It looks so crusty. I don't know. We got the bird. And then, of course, we could become the suited mimic. You can see him rattling around in there. He has all the different parts on. What does this have to do with Tiger Rock? How do I get those other Tiger Rock forms back? They're all gone. Well, we're back. But I broke his foot this time and his arms. What did I do? So what about Tiger Rock casual? Oh, look at this guy. This is a really cool tiger. He has a tiger print on his acoustic guitar. I just noticed he has a big tail. He's like Tony the Tiger, except cooler, if that was even possible. We could turn into Noir as well. We have a designer. Is that Gucci? Is that Louie? Oh my god, he's got swag for days. And then last but not least is the Tiger Rock Christmas variant. He's very festive looking. We have a player scan. We have a punch. Oh my god, oh my god. That's so violent. It's so violent, he breaks his ankles. He breaks his feet completely off. I think this model is a little broken at the moment. I'm assuming they're gonna fix it ASAP, but he's, he's not looking, he's a, little, he's a little rough. We can toggle the candy stick in his mouth. We can toggle the guitar on his back. And we can toggle the teeth lights i wonder when that's gonna catch on in real life in dentistry seeing someone walk down the street with leds in their teeth that's pretty cool if you ask me we could go back into the normal tiger rock suit he's got a glitchy reach he's got surprise pose oh no we have a grizzly roar and the glam rock wave as well for sounds a tiger growl metallic crawl possession hack and a scream Look at the big bear. He's 8-bit. The last two characters are in the similar style. They're both 8-bit. Let's check out some animations. We have 87-bit move. And then for sounds, we have game static and game end static. We have a replace part. We can toggle the cake. It's cake bear. We have a special selection as well. 8-bit Freddy and the sprites of 87. We have 8-bit Bonnie. Chica? Chica, why you look like that? We have a Foxy as well. He looks good from the side, but uh, up front, he... <laughs> I don't, I don't know who that is. And of course, 8-bit puppet as well. Look at the way it moves. It's so silly looking. Last but not least, we do have some more 8-bit animatronics. Uh-oh. It's nighttime. Look at the lighting in this place at night. I mean, without this 8-bit creature, the setting is crazy. And then you see this and it kind of ruins the immersion. But we do have some sounds. We have a guitar riff. And we have a city theme as well. We have a mystery box. Approaches a new challenger. I'll hit that. Oh, I'm why am I this thing from FNAF World? Hey, you can go back. Luckily, we can toggle the head and we can select a few different animatronics. We have Adventure Freddy, DD. Why does it look like that? Lolbit. Very interesting Lolbit. Oh, and we can become a giant head for Lolbit as well. And then last but not least is 8 bit Mendo. He's terrifying. He looks so creepy in this form. But everyone, that is going to be it for this video. I know a ton of other animatronics were updated and i will be doing a video on the nightmares so you're not going to want to miss that as well but thank you all so much for watching also i love the change they did to stitchery look at this guy this guy's scary but anyway again thank you so much for watching don't miss the achievement video for sparky that i released earlier today you're not going to want to miss it i just realized we never came in the bathroom whoops my bad there we go there's the bathrooms for you guys they threw out a whole bottle of detergent Ugh. clean that toilet